Hi beautifuls. So, just checking. Okay, the connection should be there. For some reason it just dropped out. Okay, Hannah from Reality Awareness. Hi. <laughs> uh, so, this is an update on the 2024 black line. So, back in 2020, for those of you who are new here or you don't know what I'm talking about, Back in 2020, when all the world turned upside down, and we know what we talk about, like when we're talking about that, um, it was like April 2020, and I had a big download, had a being come, and um, I had a lot of predictions come through, I guess you could say, at that time. And 2024, like I saw the next 10 years as like lines, I guess, like each year. And 2021, 22, 23, 24, 25, like up to 2030, 2024 appeared as a black line. Now, we didn't all know what that meant. I didn't know what it meant at the time either. Um, and I've had some information drop in this morning about it. So I want to share this with you. So I'm just going to share this video and then I'm going to drop into it and talk about it. So while we're waiting, who knows what I'm talking about, who has been here since 2020 or beyond um, from that time, who has, who's brand new on my page and you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Either or, it's all good. Um, I do have like live streams that I've done in the past. If you want to watch, you know, the sort of catch up to all of this, then yeah, just comment Earth and I'll send you the link with that. Okay, so I'll just share this in one more spot. Perfect. Okay, so this really sparked this morning. I'll just bring this live stream up so I can see the comments. So this really sparked this morning from um, several conversations actually that I was having with my clients this morning. And I was just like, oh my God, this makes so much sense about what's happening with the 2024 black line. So given that information, what's really interesting is that Okay, so the update on the 2024 black line, like I said, I saw it in like from in 2020 when all the information came through, it was like all in lines each year, but 2024 was a black line. And in 2020, we were like, is that going to be war? Is that like, you know, now when we look at the current state of the world, there is already been a lot of war going on and it's sort of, there's, it's almost like every country's on edge. Mm -hmm. Who agrees? <laughs> And there's, I think, a big part of us sort of, I don't know, blocking it out. We're just sort of like, you know, that there are a lot of people on edge. A lot of people are, I think, towards um, the end of 2023, we're all sort of waiting for 2024, not just specifically for the black line, but I felt feel like a lot of us, were, were we were remembering the 2020 feels of, um, sorry, 2019 feels, I should say, of coming into 2020 and ah, everything that happened in 2020. And I feel, and that was because it was three years as well, three, four years going on, like breaking that, breaking out of that three year cycle. And when I work with clients and work in the healing that I, you know, live, teach and preach that the healing cycles, as we know, like three weeks, three days, three weeks, three months, three years, and when we look at 2020 trauma, let's call it, of a collective of the world, everyone was sort of breaking out of that three-year bubble, if you may, into 2024, and we're all like, okay, well, what's, what's happening? Now, if we look at the current state of the world, there are systems crumbling and collapsing, and then there's a lot of, you know, behind the scenes, uh, I don't know if calm is the right word for it to come out, uh, mm, oh, there's a word that's coming to mind. I can't, it's just like dropping in on the edge. What's that word guys? Tell me, um, like, you know, action and consequence. Oh, there's a word other than karma. Anyway, you get the point. There's a lot of that starting to come out behind the scenes and, you know, people getting in trouble for what they did, etc. 
there's a lot going on that we're not aware of and there's also a lot of people on subconscious edge i feel because of the world are we going to go into war or not now the part about the black line this morning i'll just go there for a moment right because in 2020 we were all wondering what it is is that where a lot of people are going to suddenly die because of the you know the thing and whatever and whilst there's been a bucket load of people who have been affected by that and still are and are still dealing with it and there is a lot of people that have already passed away from it this year we were wondering if there was going to be more because of the black line is it the black line because of the heart like you know on a beeping monitor i'm sorry i'm not a nurse i'm a healer but i'm not a nurse i'm not trained in medical <laughs> so whatever the heart you know wanted to keep somebody alive it's like like it flat line that's the one the flat line and it's like this you know is that what 2024 is like we're going to flatline like everyone's going to be restarted next year like what is that yeah and and we don't we don't we didn't know back in 2020 we didn't know and i didn't really know i just saw it as a black line don't know what the meaning is but you know going along figuring it out and so what's really interesting so i'll just leave that to the side for a minute so this morning when i was talking to several clients that sort of sparked all this dropping in is a huge part of 2024 is that this is a time for those who know they are born for this time to step up this time meaning if you know that you're a leader a healer if you're here to help the world awaken in consciousness in whichever way shape and form that is for you this is the year you step up and you stay committed to that and you do it like it's now or never right it's like this is the last window of opportunity that you're going to get <laughs> i say it like this because i'm like now is always a good time <laughs> and there's always nows okay so there's always a good time but the the piece that i'm getting at here is like the actual message that dropped in okay here it is is that the and this is going to sound really judgmental, but this is not where I'm coming from with that. This is just what I've witnessed and seen. And I'm like, ah, this makes a lot of sense because there's a lot of people who are stepping up into their leadership roles on a whole new level that they have personally busted through and out of something that their whole um, demeanor, if you may, is expanding in ways that they didn't know they were capable of before they're holding a lot more it's not pulling them down anymore and they're really rising into the power of their leadership of what they're meant to do and hold so if you have since 2020 but before even then right you have been pushing through barriers and healing your stuff and really like moving to the next level in your business and your healing in in whatever industry you're doing your coaching your whatever business leadership that you hold and you are doing whether it's in your personal life or in um community business-based leadership right if you're an entrepreneur or business owner or coach or leader in your own kind right this is like you have been working through stuff and really healing your shit in the past few years like you've really been in a very dark space not sure if you're going to make it didn't know if you're going to come back from that whatever that was for you like you've really been doing the work and in the past like six weeks to a month you've really felt a shift and you're like right let's do this like you've really felt the shift okay and you're like i can do this now and you're also very clear about what that is even if you're like think you should be doing something else but what you're doing is very clear okay and you're really expanding and working on that now the part about the 2024 black line actual message is that the people who have been asleep okay again this is going to sound really judgmental but just bear with me while i explain the energetics of what's going on okay about the 2024 black line okay yes it's a it's a heart monitor beep not in a literal literal sense okay this 2024 black line is that the people who have okay i'm just gonna say it all the people who have been asleep who are mainstream who are unconscious who have been judging people like myself or anyone who's doing better than them or um causing a ruckus like the black sheep of the family 
has been, um, you know, stirring the pot. It's not what we've been doing. We've been healing the shit, right? On the generations, for example, right? Like, but to unconscious mainstream people who may have dabbled in spirituality, may, may like crystals, may, may oh, teeter on, uh, like, <laughs> you know, like, may, um, uh, what's the word, have an oracle card or two or get a psychic reading here and there or, you know, like, but I'm talking about sort of the, the people who have judged other people harshly for standing in their truth, especially through what we've been through in the past few years, okay, as a society. Um, those people are waking up like 2024 Black Line is their wake up. Meaning, they can't suppress their own trauma anymore and it's in their face and they're really struggling with it. And that's where people like you and me, for example, okay, if you're watching this live stream, I imagine you're a leader in some way, shape or kind, in your own right, in whatever industry you're doing, okay? Those people who have judged us in the past are now waking up and their own trauma they cannot suppress anymore and I really want to reiterate they're in a really bad place. Now when we just leave that there on the table for a moment, when we look at a bigger picture scale on the war, the wars in the world and are we going to break out in World War Three? Well, I personally believe that we already have and nobody's talking about it but it's a silent war meaning like and when I was downloading this information for this live stream just before I jumped on the live stream I got like ecological like an ecological war and I like I know what that meant right but I also googled it and it said ecological warfare came up and it says of eco-terrorism often described this is from google I know Google, but let's just deal with Google for a minute. So, of eco-terrorism, often described as environmental warfare, consists of the deliberate and illegal destruction and exploitation or modification of the environment as a strategy of war or in times of armed conflict, including civil conflict within states. And I, I'm coming to goosebumps as I say that, and I'm like, you know, when it's like, you know, are we in war or is, it war, is World War Three going to break out? I mean, like for years, many of us leaders have been saying we're already in war and nobody's talking about it. And when we look at the ecological warfare, I'm like, it's plain as day. And do you know what the other thing is, is a lot of people are waking up to that. And so um, the whole, you know, piece about all of this is that the thing is, is that there's a lot of memes going around, if you may, which, you know, can sort of bring a smile on our face in a way and we can have a little bit of a giggle about it. But the reality is, is that we know what it's like to have an awakening and to have our trauma in our face that we cannot face anymore. And right now, these people need compassion, they need help, and they need the leader that you've been training your whole fucking life to be. They don't need more judgment. They don't need, I told you so. Now who's laughing at the conspiracy theorists? I've been saying this for years. They don't need that. Okay. They're very aware of that. And the reality is, is that all these years, these seeds have been planted is now popping up to the surface and they need these leaders, us, also known as us, to hold the space for them to deal with their shit and their trauma that they cannot suppress anymore. Their unconscious behavior is no longer mm, working for them anymore, okay? And the unconscious patterns that are keeping them suppressed, also known as humanity, okay, is that those coping mechanisms are not working anymore and they are facing some really dark, heavy shit that they cannot suppress anymore. Now, this might be very clear with some people and you're like, oh, they need help. And they're like, yeah, and it's not your responsibility. Please know where I'm coming from with this. It's not your responsibility to run around and save everybody, okay? But it is your responsibility to hold an energetic space and a conscious space of number one, directing them to help that you cannot do yourself that might not be your responsibility to do, that you know you can't help them, but there's professionals that can do and you direct them to, or you, you know, whatever. This is about really holding that space that this 2024 black line, I mean, hey, it's February when I'm doing this live stream, next month a, a bomb could go off. <laughs> but the reality is, is like, I don't believe 
when I was tuning into this and I got the ecological warfare stuff and I was like, well, that just makes a lot of sense because that's been going on for years, right? You know, the reality is that these days, if a bomb went off, that would be the end of the world. And so everyone's not doing that, but there's also this tension, okay? Now, whilst the leave the world war stuff to the side for a minute, when we look at humans as a whole and the unconscious people who were very judgmental and who even have had the thing and now waking up and going, oh, fuck, what did I do? Like, and they're realizing it. You remember years and years and years for years, I have been saying that when people are waking up from a narcissistic relationship, it takes years for them to even do something about it or admit that that's what's going on. So for all these years, these people have known, okay? You're not a truth bringer. You're not a, a way shower. You're not a light worker for no fucking reason. You haven't been saying all the things that you've been saying for no fucking reason. Okay, those seeds are being planted and they're actually very conscious of it, but they don't know what to do with that. They haven't had the training that you've had. They haven't had the awakening that you've had. They haven't been around with those people that you have, okay? Like, they're on their own in this, okay? If you can imagine every unconscious person that's waking up on the planet to the relationship with a narcissist right now, okay? And if you can look at them as not the like, oh, you were laughing at us as conspiracy theorists now, like, no, okay? That's, that's not what these people need right now. You're a leader for a reason, okay? And it's like really coming into the fact that these people were waking up and it's like they're in an abusive relationship with a narcissist and you laughing at them about that is not going to help. Right now, they need serious help, okay? Now, they might, you know, the people that is coming to mind might be that they are in a relationship with a narcissist and they do need help and that's also out of your jurisdiction and so you call for the proper help or whatever, right? But what I'm talking about here on a global consciousness scale to humans and society as a collective waking up to the relationship with the powers to be right um this is what i'm more talking about with the 2024 black line that those people were waking up to this and for all of these years of all the seeds planted they know that stuff but they haven't known what to do with it okay it, it is when we wake up to a relationship with an abuser we're like a oh, fuck but there's a period of time to, before we're ready to leave that because it's we're like fuck we're in that and then we're like what i didn't even know what a narcissist was and now i'm learning this i'm like oh my god i've been in this for years what do i do about that like <laughs> you know what i mean now there's so many different layers to a narcissistic relationship okay that, that's a whole nother story okay but i'm just using that analogy to you as a leader and shining a light on the compassion and the space held for these people that are awakening to this fact right now. Now, that might have been planted in 2020 via people they were against and like, you know, they're making us go at loggerheads, okay? But it only gets at loggerheads so much before, whereas we know the truth always surfaces, okay? The truth always surfaces. No matter what situation, the truth always grows, the big oak tree, and that's always, life always wins. Life always wins. How many memes and photos and things you've seen yourself where there's a metal pole and the tree's growing up through the metal pole? <laughs> life always wins. Okay? That life force to keep humanity alive always wins. Truth always surfaces. Okay? In this period of time, the 2024 black line is the fact that people who have been unconscious, judgmental, asleep, are waking up and we know when we have a spiritual awakening that we that it's messy, it's dark, it's horrendous, we want to go back to sleep, we don't know what to do with it, we're finding our tribe, we're like, where's all the other people that get this because I'm surrounded with all these other unconscious people. Um, now, slightly different with what I'm talking about, but same, okay? And the whole piece around, like, these people don't need more judgment, they need compassion. They're now facing in another layer and level to this is that people like us, we, the truth bring us the name whatever we've been healing generational trauma of our era we have now we know that when we deal with it the buck stops here and it doesn't get passed down anymore now there's theories out there that say it goes seven generations back and seven generations forward and we're clearing that now whilst i believe that i also believe that on another layer of human awakening at this time at this moment in time is that 
the people of the unconscious that I've just been talking about who are now waking up and now facing a heavy level of trauma that they've been suppressing, that their coping mechanisms are not working anymore, okay, is that um, because we've the buck stopped here with us, I personally believe that we're not carrying what's not ours anymore. So yes, the generational clearing seven years above and below, but at the same time, back and forth, at the same time, I personally believe that that's given back to them to deal with. Whilst we heal it for them, we also don't, you know, it's a bit of a, I don't know, a gray line because there's so many different myriad of situations and scenarios that unravel with that. Okay. And so when we look at that unraveling, covered in goosebumps with this, that I, like, I believe that we've done enough clearing and healing and whatever else is going on on the collective that they're now having to deal with that because not only are they just dealing with their own suppressed trauma, but they also hold specific light codes, energy, and leadership skills in their own right. And the sense that I'm getting is like, they're another layer of this strength. Like they wouldn't be awakening now, dealing with their suppressed trauma if those people weren't here to hold an energetic line, if you may, for what is to come in the coming years, okay? These people hold a very, just like we have all these years with what we've been holding the line with on so many different layers and levels and clearing generational karmic societal trauma, you name it. These people who are now awakening are holding another energy that this information is only coming through as I'm talking about this and channeling this on the live now, that this actually makes a lot of sense because it's like the backbone. So, you know, like, you know, they say over the years that truth bearing souls have been coming in for many centuries, right? Many decades, right? And, you know, if they look at the indigo theory or whatever, there's been some in the 1950s and they're coming to clear the way. And then there's like, do you know what I mean? Each decade there's rainbow children and like, do you know what I'm talking about, right? And it's kind of like, but a lot of, I, I feel that there's been a lot in the generation above us, so to speak, that have been suppressed that are now, because we've done so much work, now it's up to them to do their work, which is why a lot of them are facing trauma that they just can't suppress anymore, okay? Because they're holding another energetic line that's now only awakening that's gonna, I don't know, there's something with that. There's something with that, it's quite strong. It's quite strong. So obviously more to come, as always, um, with that. So the main factor in this 2024 black line and like I said, when we look at the bigger global wars, the more people that are facing an awakening and healing their own trauma, the less the wars will become. Why? Because subconsciously and unconsciously, there's not a battle going on. There's not a suppression of the trauma and the pain, which is reflected out there with war. And so when you see, feel, know somebody that is awakening, it's not in your jurisdiction to save the world, to help every single person, right? Because it's, it's, um, it's impossible if you may. In essence, that like, there's only one of you and have many, but you can always help one person and whether you're meant to help them directly or direct them to somebody you know that can help them or create something of your own purpose that will help that community or that, which is more likely the case, okay? And you start stepping up and doing the work that your purpose is calling you to do because I guarantee you there's something, and like I posted, was it just yesterday, like when you are angry about injustice in the world and you're yelling at people on the internet via comments and all this stuff, I'm like, that is not a use of your energy, but it is a beacon showing you what you're passionate about, what you know a lot of information about. And, and there's those people of the injustice are counting on you and your purpose to awaken, to channel that energy, to create something brand new in the world that's going to support them. That is the basis of your purpose. And I guarantee you it's not on the planet yet. And this is what I do with my clients because people who know they are here to 
change the world, to quote unquote save the world, is that they have something inside of them and it does start off with us awakening and healing our own shit. And then we're angry and telling other people not to do that. But then when we realize that that's our passion and our purpose and we know so much about it and we know we can help those people, when you actually channel that into the correct source of your purpose, a whole new world opens up and that's what we're here to create. That is like the steps, if you may, okay? So when we look at what's going on and you know this 2024 there will be a lot of people facing a lot of dark suppressed trauma and it's up to you as a healer and a leader of your own kind in whatever industry you are you are in to step up and hold that space meaning living your best life doing what you're passionate about and changing the world by you doing these things okay leadership is about you leading the way Okay, not changing people, you leading the way and you know you can change those people but not everyone wants to be changed yet. Not everyone wants to heal yet. And the thing is, is that a person will not waken, awoken, awaken <laughs> until they're like ready. Like you can't physically wake up. You know, all these years where everyone's like, wake up these tinfoil hatters and stuff. And it's like, what a waste of fucking energy. Like nobody wakes up before their time. You can plant a million seeds and while that's important, if you're not physically and mentally and spiritually and emotionally and physically creating what you know can change the world, right? It's pointless screaming at a person who's asleep. It doesn't work. <laughs> what a waste of your precious energy where your purpose is busting out of you to write a book and you know get it in every bookstore and you know market yourself so that you fucking can change the world because that's how the world changes by people who are ready absorbing the information that you have to share and when you step up and do that the right people will find you who are ready and that's the ripple effect that's the butterfly effect but you need to go first and lead the way not shake those people who are still asleep it's like stop turning to that and channel that energy into something that's productive and proactive and that's how it's going to support those people for example, when I was saying about those un unconscious people who are waking up now and facing a lot of darkness and trauma, when we're still in it, sometimes we don't, we're still not ready for that, okay? And there's certain people with certain skill, skill sets, like myself, <laughs> who, who know how to travel the, the level of darkness, but that level, that person might not be ready for that either, okay? So it's more important that you know how to do X, Y, and Z. So create a course or create a, a book or create a, I don't know, set up a community and the right people will come. What do they say? Build it and they will come. Okay, when you've got a passion and a fire and you know there's something that you can help to change the world in whichever way, shape or form, this is where like, if you don't start doing that, you're gonna still be angry that those people are not waking up. <laughs> That's not how it works, <laughs> okay? So, this is really important for you to understand of what the black line was. And like I said at the very start, you've had opportunities for the past four years. Now's your time to not miss this other win this, this current window. Um, you've probably heard in the astrological stuff in the last, I don't know, it seems like it's been going on the last three months, but from a couple of different astrologers, they're like, it's this two week window or it's that two week window or it's this like back in December was like there's a shift with whatever astrological events are going on. I'm not an astrologer, but they've been saying from several different people, I've heard it, that there's this specific thing where for the next 20 years, like it's, we're getting a taste of it. And then the next 20 years, this is the energy. And I'm like, so right now, you're setting the tone for the next 20 years, okay? They're saying it's this two weeks or it's that two weeks. I, I, don't, I don't really believe that in essence that it's now, <laughs> whatever that window of time is, because what the fuck is time? That's a human made up concept in a reality that doesn't, like we live in this 3D reality time, clock, go to work, clock on, clock off, digital time. Where's the old scale time? Because digital is like, every time I reset the clock in my, in my kitchen with a battery, like I purposely bought a wall clock, it seems like, I'm like, do the batteries, the really long ones that are really expensive, that are supposed to last for a long time, how long's a long time? Because I seem like I'm changing that so regularly and I'm like, is digital time being sped up and nobody's noticing? Because that wall clock, I'm pretty sure I just changed the battery not long ago. Like I started like monitoring it and then I'm gonna like email the battery company and go, how long would this supposed to last? Because everyone's on digital, how do we know they're not speeding it up? Sorry, I'm going off track here, but you get the point. <laughs> The, the point is, is that time is of the essence. <laughs> you got it? You got it. Okay. 
All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's interesting, right? When you do a birth chart and it only goes for a certain amount of time and then like, you're like, what, am I dying after that? It's like, yeah, part of you probably will die and you will be reborn. Are you ready for that? Because if you start working on it now, it won't be so dramatic. <laughs> if you don't take action, it will be dramatic to wake you up. Trust me, I know, I've been there. So I'm just going to finish this um, 2024 black line. If you've got any questions about it, let me know. Um, with this reading, I'm not doing personal readings now. I'm just going to pull these cards as a sort of closing of this um, this topic that I've been talking about that really dropped in this morning, which I'm excited about getting more information um, of this makes a lot of sense. So, um, okay. So if you know that I'm the mentor for you, um, send me a message and we can work out what's going to be the best option for you. I don't just work with anyone anymore. I'm really at a point where I don't just do psychic readings. That's why I charge over a thousand dollars for a one hour psychic reading these days because as some of you know, and I wrote a blog not long ago that psychic readings became really draining working with me one-on-one. -on -one. Like, you know, I love doing them. That's why I still do. <laughs> She's like, I'm like, writing cards now. <laughs> But I couldn't figure out what that was working with people. I'm like, I love doing it. And then I'd be like, oh, this is so like, I just wouldn't feel lit up. I'm like, what is going on? It took me ages to like figure this out. And it's because I'm here to help people who are ready to help themselves, not just get a psychic reading. I'm like, oh yeah, like psychic readings help. Okay, they do. But they don't really create long-term change. And that's what I'm most passionate about. So hence why my readings are $1,000 because for an hour, because when we get on that video course, not just a reading, we're doing the healing, we're doing the deep inner work that creates and promotes that change. And I charge what I charge because I'm only willing to work with people who are willing to actually create the changes, right? You can get an insight to what's going on on my website on Tuesday Tarot every week. I do the daily reels. It's not like I'm not, you can't get that insight from me, but I'm really being really protective of my space energetically and physically to really do what I'm here to do and talk about getting clear on your purpose and making that happen in the world. I'm like, that's what this boundary is about. <laughs> so I only work with people who are really ready to make massive change in their life. And my three month program um, and then my 12 month program is really where the longer term changes. Hence why that's the only way I work with people these days. So if you know that I'm the mentor for you, send me a message and we can talk about that. So as a reading, um, you know, I pulled this card at the start and I was doing it and then I just pulled these cards at the end here. So it's like past, present, future. Um, this one is the Solve Paluti at the 741 Hertz. And so it's really interesting. I'm pretty sure this is around like um, clearing the negative energy. And it's so interesting given what this we've talked about, what the black line is, which makes a lot of sense, right? Tune into your heart and you will be able to find your way through any negative or toxic situation. Oh, it's kind of like the summing up of this whole thing, yeah? <laughs> um, engage in self-healing and space clearing. Commit to regular practices that will connect you to your inner light. Your light shall not be overcome by darkness or negativity. Take time to clean your heart and mind of negativity by focusing on the divine beings that bring your joy heart. Joy, bring joy to your heart. It's appropriate for you to desire your own personal and sacred space and access it daily. So it's like, you know, it says we live in an age of heightened environmental, emotional and spiritual pollution. This is what we've been talking about. Yeah, literally what we've been talking about. So kind of like, and this is the thing. Um, when this oracle appears in a reading, it's a call to clear yourself and your space in ways that feel affirming, inspiring, and beautiful. If you are dealing with this awakening, this is my forte. Um, I've got a literal page on my website that's helping you with your spiritual awakening, um, things that you can start working with as well. And in my Life Purpose Legacy in Trust Intuition, it's like the perfect spiritual awakening support course. Um, Life Purpose Legacy closes tomorrow, by the way. Um, so the doors close tomorrow. Send me a message if you like details about that or trust the intuition because this is really what this is. It's about how do you navigate these times in the darkness with your trauma surfacing and then you've still got to function and turn up in the world and do what you do. Like this is what we do. We learn these skills to hone and direct what we're here to do because as a leader, it doesn't mean that you're perfect. As a leader, it doesn't mean that 
um, you know, you're, you're completely healed and your life's perfect. It's like, no, a leader learns what they need to do to support themselves and navigate that whilst holding the space, whilst leading the, the space that you're leading, right? And again, whatever um, space you do hold, whether you're a coach, entrepreneur, um, healer, mentor, business owner of your own kind, like you hold a lot. You're a person that holds a lot. And we also need to hold our own stuff as well as continuing holding what we do to lead whichever you're leading, yeah? So this is one of my fortes. It's what I'm doing, but that makes total sense about it's the awakening for these people who just haven't awoken yet. It's another wave of it strongly coming through and that's what this black line is about. I do believe there's more changes coming this year, but this makes total sense with that. And I and I feel that the people who deal with their trauma and deal with the stuff that's coming up are the ones who, um, you know, are literally, of course we all are, but are the ones who are really stopping the war right now because it's an internal battle. It's an internal war of suppression. Okay, Perfume of Sophia. By the way, the future is not set in stone. We're the ones that created and the more we can heal and support those who are awakening to heal, that's the world change. So the perfume of Sophia. Um, you will be able to sense the best timing to approach an approach to take. To create space for healing and resolution, connect with your body and ground yourself in the here and now with body-friendly practices. You will find your way intuitively and instinctively even through confusing circumstances where one moment you are sure the answer is no, but then it's yes. Give up trying to figure it out right now and remain open and positive but a relaxed expectation and clarity shall emerge spontaneously according to divine timing, meaning you know which path to take to heal for yourself and for others to heal in the world. What's really amazing to me is that the aurora of gamma has also come out. Uh, and this is so interesting when we look at the amount of solar flares, um, interference of electronics and everything that's been coming and... Uh, you know, flattening our earth and all of these pieces, when we look at the aurora of gamma, the gamma rays coming off the sun right now is literally the radiation that's pouring through our atmosphere because there is no protective magnet sphere, atmosphere layer anymore. And that's why when the, the layers hit, and I personally feel that's why a lot of people are going through a mass awakening right now because there is no protection shield anymore. And so when these waves hit, the gamma rays, the radiation, the solar flares, the cosmic waves that pound our earth because there is no protection anymore, is that um, what it does is if you have unresolved trauma in your energetic field and body and physical body, it's I've always said it for many years, is when we get a solar flare and a wave like that, it's like a sieve, right? It's like a, uh, it's the strainer you know like the rice strainer and it literally pulls throughout aura and pulls all the trauma and the crap out all the the lower vibrations right if we look at the sun it's very light it's a very high vibration right yeah and so it like pulls throughout aura and will literally pull out the trauma hence why with the shield being very thin or non-existent anymore when a wave comes we're getting like knocked by it even electronics get knocked and so this is where the trauma is surfacing and people are getting knocked by it and people are awakening because of this. Yeah, so really, really important. Um, okay, so it's time to let go of what has been, literally what it says. You are swiftly outgrowing your past. Need I say any more? Explore and commit to a spiritual practice that supports your personal transformation so that you can cross the threshold before you now. If you need healing, now is the time. Like you can't suppress trauma anymore and it's and it's it's waving through our atmosphere because it's time to heal. Um, embrace your freedom to be creative in your approach rather than dodgily committing yourself to previous ideas or plans. I literally spoke about this in Wild Spirit Formula that one of the audios in Wild Spirit Formula, which the price goes up to 197 in a couple of days and it'll stay at 197. So if you've been eyeing off Wild Spirit Formula, it is fucking on fire and you'll want to get in there if it's been calling you, okay? The this here when it says embrace your freedom to be creative in your approach rather than dodgily committing to yourself to previous ideas or plans. Like 
in healing, in the way you've always done stuff, in, in whatever it is, like now is the time to change the way you've been doing things or it will be changed for you. So you better move with it instead of being forced to, because that's worse. It's not, it's not as nice feeling, right? Um, take your power back before your power is done for you. I don't know. It's not the right saying, but you get the point. Um, and so I was talking about this in wild spirit formula. Like I literally said, that your life purpose, path and plan feels like it's been in shambles for the last few years because, because so many people have awoken on the planet, okay? And whilst it was always planned, nothing is also set in stone, okay? And when you were born and you came in with your soul life purpose blueprint, okay, I'm giving you, this is one of literally one of the things I said in Wild Spirit Formula, and if you like this, you understand the whole basis of Wild Spirit Formula. Well, this is just one of the things that channeled through. But the thing is, is that you you came into this earth with a wild with a wild spirit formula. You did. You came into this earth with a soul life purpose blueprint. Okay, that's what I uncover when you work with me. Okay. But the message that came through in Wild Spirit Formula is that because of nothing is set in stone, and so many people have awoken on the planet and all of these other things have contributed to the future's not set in stone your original life purpose blueprint plan that you were born with that you came in with um doesn't fit in the world like the way that you were going to do it and everything it's not it, that's not how it's going to work anymore do you know what i mean and that's why in the past few years you might have felt this big breakdown or whatever's gone on for you right and lost and everything there's been a lot of light work is in that because the plans change like the trajectories changed and so this is what i'm doing working with my clients now is like okay so that blueprint changed right it's like the old ways that you were going to do something it doesn't fit in the new world right we're sort of over here on the trajectory so it's like recalibrating to that and like figuring it out and that can be really scary because we're all good and we've got a plan and we're like, yep, this is it. But then it's like, what? It's not going to work. That's not working. What? Did, we've got to change that. I don't know what to do now, right? And this is the basis of like, obviously what this is saying as well. It's so amazing. The gamma, right? And the solar flares and everything like the atmosphere's got like, this is just, this reading's on point. Absolutely on point with it. Um, so you have the spiritual intelligence necessary to evolve and this is where the healing of your trauma so you can listen to your soul and your spirit guiding you in each moment as the evolution of humanity and consciousness shifts this is the most profound piece that you must adhere to and adapt to if you are going to quote unquote make it in the world and i don't just mean successful on stage doing what you do i'm talking about like how you're going to get through the next few years because we know that with technology a lot of the jobs just like when the industrial Re revolution came in it's like it changed the world and so now this technological era is coming in and it's changing the world and if you don't adapt and change in whatever industry and you know keep up basically and i don't mean keep up with the joneses i mean like as a literal like you got to move with the changes or the changes you're going to get left behind you're going to be one of those old grandma who refused to use a mobile phone and now they're just locked out from the world <laughs> didn't know like that but you get it right it's kind of like i don't mean that i don't mean my you get what you're trying to say in the context of what i'm talking about yeah continue your healing journey with a trust that a positive outcome is imminent Im imminent <laughs> the future is not set in stone and we are creating it and that's why this change has happened yeah wild spirit formula increases in a couple of days so comment wild spirit below if you know you need that given on what just channel through i'm just like that was one of the messages that came through on wild spirit formula and it's like you know this is the healing that's required to be able to uncover what it is that you're here to do because you will be feeling this if you're at a point where you're like yeah i've lived my life i'm doing my life but there's something else that i know i'm meant to do more and you can feel that lost in recalibration space maybe there's childhood childhood trauma to heal maybe there's past life stuff interfering whatever this is the work that i do with my clients but it's also about recalibrating to what your purpose is your unique purpose not from what you're born with checking in with that but how does that recalibrate and shift with the changes because that's what's happened on the planet and i personally feel that 2024 black lining is a huge recalibration for so many people that a lot have already been through and are stepping into the leadership with that evolution and change and if we look at the final overlying card it's the magnetism of eros which is the number one of the deck as well which is the brand new cycle the start of new beginnings um and when we look at that it's like i personally feel is like a new era <laughs> eros the new era 
Um, trust in what your heart yearns for without concern about how it will manifest. I talked in Wild Spirit Formula. One of the audios is literally called Get Out of the How and Get Into the Now and Stop Trying to Figure It Out because you won't you won't figure it out trying to figure it out. Like it's really powerful. Take steps towards that which moves your heart. Reach out for what your soul wants and needs. Allow yourself to be vulnerable for only then can you truly be held. That which appears out of reach or unavailable to you is closer than you realize. Like for real. This is the vision we're holding for earth. It says this oracle indicates that your heart is being called to a particular path or way in life. This is what I help you navigate is the change from your old life to your new life and everything that's stopping you and blocking you in between that. Um, it says here... Um, this oracle indicates that your heart is being called to a particular path or way of life. Um, it may not make logical sense, but to honor the call of the heart is to honor the needs of the soul. Need I say any more? I'm done. If you need to work with me, send me a message. If you know I'm the mentor for you, if wild spirit is calling your heart, because wild spirit is that wild spirit who fully trusts, who just goes, who evolves with that, right? And so many of us have lost that wild spirit is reminding you and pulling that back to your consciousness, activating that within your soul. So investment increases for wild spirit, comment wild spirit below, or you can find it on my page. Send me a message if you know I'm the mentor for you. Life Purpose Legacy closes doors tomorrow. Send me a message if you'd like information about that or comment legacy below. And I shall see you soon because that 2024 black line message was really potent, really strong. I hope that activated you because that was next level. I shall see you guys soon. <laughs>